Hi everyone, Colin Bodwell here for ifsetglobal.com and today I'm going to be doing a review of the Veracity Longspan Ethernet Extender. Now the exact model I'm going to be showing you today is the VLS1NL and that's the non-POE model. So let's take a quick look at it. If you look on the one side of the unit, you'll see that there's an Ethernet in port. That's for your data from your switch or your router or even your camera. On the other side, you'll see the Ethernet out. Now that's the side that's designed to go to another Veracity Longspan receiver. All right, now that that's cleared up, let's get techy. The Longspan from Veracity is capable of transmitting up to 200 megabits per second up to 600 meters or 20 megabits per second up to 1000 meters over CAT6 cable. It can operate in temperatures down to minus 40 degrees and up to plus 70 degrees Celsius. But it's not weatherproof, so if you're installing it outdoors, plan on putting it inside some kind of enclosure. The units are rack mountable using an adapter bracket from Veracity, but you'll need to purchase that separately. Lastly, if you're not using CAT6 cable, Longspan can also transmit over CAT5V, CAT3, and really any other unshielded twisted pair. That's it for Techie Talk, so now let me tell you what I like about Veracity's Longspan. The first thing I really like about Veracity's Longspan is how foolproof it is. It's so easy to install, you can just pull it out of the box, you don't need to read the manual, and you can just plug them in and they work. The second thing that I really like about Veracity's Longspan is the extreme temperature range that it operates in, which means if you can't fit the unit inside your camera's temperature controlled housing, you can at least put it outside in a weatherproof box. Okay. Now, let me tell you what I don't like about Veracity's Longspan. The first thing I don't like about the Veracity Longspan is that these units aren't sold as a pair. It makes no sense to me that you can't order them as a kit, since obviously having only one of them would be completely useless. The other thing that I really hated about the Veracity Longspan is the horrible documentation that comes with it. It's basically a one-page manual that reads more like a sales brochure than a technical guide. It also refers to application notes if you want to look for pinouts for using UTP instead of a CAT6 cable. If you look for those application notes on Veracity's website, you'll find that there's just a longer version of this brochure that confuses you even more. So, if you're going to install one of these kits, I highly advise that before you read the manual, throw it away. You just made your installation a lot easier. That's it for this review and despite my complaints, I actually really like the Veracity Longspan. It worked extremely well during testing and I think it's a great unit. My name again is Colin Bodville and thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below. See you next time.